Hi YouTube, um, I just wanted to come on and share some of the products um, and ideas that I've got from different hair forums and YouTube since being natural. <clears throat> A lot of people have shared their products so I wanted to come on and do the same thing. Okay, um, I transitioned starting in August of last year and then I finally did my big chop uh, halfway through April of this year. Um, so first the product that I tried uh, first was this, the Organics Nourishing Coconut Milk Anti-Breakage Serum. A lot of people don't like this. Um, I like it. It still has quite a bit in here. I don't use it as much as I used to, but this is actually my second bottle. I've already went through one bottle just since April, but I don't use it as much as I used to. Still like it though. Um, whenever I make my shea butter mix, this is everything that I put into my mix. I use a little bit of honey. Um, I use this, the Africa's Best Ultimate Herbal Oil, and I just recently started using this. I've had it for a while. I haven't used much of it. Um, I tried using it in my hair by itself at first, and I just did not like it at all. So now I use it when I do my Shea Mix. Extra virgin olive oil, of course. Um, I usually just put a little bit of this in there as well. Um, I love oil, so I use a lot. Tea tree oil. Um, I guess that's a fairly good amount that I've used. I use that when I make my shea butters. And I actually have this grapeseed oil. Um, I put a little bit in there too. Probably about a tablespoon of all these little oils. And so it can get kind of oily because that's a lot. And then I also use this, my organic virgin coconut oil. This stuff I love, love, love. It's almost empty. I This is actually my second container of the stuff. There's like hardly anything left. It's a little cold so it's... I, I put it upside down so that it dries up top or whatever. So that's why it's sticking like that. But um, this is my second container of this. I love this stuff. I use it when I get out of the shower um, pretty much every day and then I put some in my hair. And this is my shea butter container. This is what I put it in. Um, this is, I actually made whipped shea butter this time. This is what it looks like. It's mostly shea butter, all of those oils that I just showed you. And then I put jojoba butter um, and avocado butter in it this time, which is why it's kind of white like it is. Also, my shea butter was white this time. Last time I had yellow shea butter. Um, I got my stuff from Texas Natural Supply, and this is what my shea butter came in. It's kind of white. It's raw and unrefined. This was uh, seven and a half ounces, and I used most of that in there. And then this was my jojoba butter. This is 3.75 ounces, um, kind of yellowish. Doesn't really have a smell to it. Now this is actually it's ultra refined, um, but I still wanted to try it anyway. It has the palm oil, soybean oil, cottonseed oil. Um, that's the uh, jojoba butter, which, you know, I'm, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. And then my avocado butter, which I don't think I ended up getting, yeah, 3.75 ounces of this as well. Um, that's what that looks like. White, creamy, just like, you know, it should be. And then I also actually ordered some tangerine butter. Um, now this was also ultra refined, but I wanted to give it a try. It also has almond oil, um, palm oil, cottonseed, and soybean oil. So because it has oils in it, I actually got this for my face. Um, I hear it's supposed to be good for oily skin. Maybe just in its re um, now refined state, I don't know, because this is ultra refined. But I only got one and a half ounces of this. I haven't used it a lot. That's what it looks like. Um, it smells really good and citrusy. And when I put it on my face, I probably use like that. And that's all. And then I just rub it in my hand and I'll put it on my face. But I try not to use it. I've only used it maybe once or twice, maybe three times since I've had it. And I use it like once a week. And um, because it's refined um, and has those oils in it, I have naturally oily skin. I don't want to use it too much because I don't want my, you know, face to break out and get too oily. So, um, I don't use it that much, but it smells great and I do love the way it makes my skin feel. It feels so soft and, and 
you know, smells like oranges or tangerines. So if you don't like that smell, then, you know, you wouldn't like it. But it smells good to me. And then also, um, for my kinky twists, I've been using this African Royal Braid Spray. And I actually put it in here. And I just, um, I added some extra virgin olive oil. Some of this, the Ultimate Herbal, um, uh, Ultimate Herbal Africa's Best. And some tea tree oil. And so that's what I've been using, um, on my hair. So I just thought I would share with you guys. And so far, so good. Um, I've achieved some great growth. And I'm trying to put some before and after pictures up at the end of this. Um, I don't know if I, if I'll be able to actually edit my video just because the camera I have saves and the file saves it. But I will try to put some before um, and after, I guess, like when I first bc compared to now of just what all these things have done for my hair. So thank you, and hopefully I will have a video coming soon. Bye-bye.